face again Someday I'll sleep Cause it's all the same to me This tiny voice inside my head Keeps me away Uh, how did I hear about Flickr Stick? I think I was about 17, 18, my freshman year of college. I heard there was a lot of buzz about them. They were a rock band, and I, I went to the record store and got their album and listened to it, and I went and saw them, and it, it was just one of the best live shows I ever saw. Is there too much glare with glasses or anything? Found myself like in a barn. Uh, we'd been playing a show. We were sitting back shooting whiskey, and they start pulling up like YouTube videos of these songs, Flickr Stick. And I'd never heard of it before, but it sounded really cool. Like kind of 90s, like almost Brit pop. They were talking about like, like find, finding the singer and like something. We're gonna record like a song, like record a cover of it or. You get my Al Pacino slouch on. When I wrote Coke, I was just out of college and uh, we were mainly, we were, well, I was living in Denton and uh, we, were, we were playing mostly at a deep element. Coke was kind of, a, I hate to say a fluke. There was a chorus melody that just kind of jumped out and then it and then it went from there which I, I just had to um, figure out what to write it about. Do you like to leave some interpretation up? I think that if you give it too much away, if it's not already self-explanatory, that sometimes the listener's version or their interpretation of, of the lyric content can sometimes be not more meaningful, but it, it's sometimes as creative or in, in my opinion, sometimes it's their version and how they hear a song can be even like more interesting to me than what I'm writing about. Right, uh, it's that or I'd have to do it like in, you know, the, the she knows, like falsetto and I don't know if you want that. I'm not Robin Gibb. And she knows, and she knows, and she knows. And she knows, and she knows, and she knows. Us flat just a bit. You got questions for me? Yeah, yeah. All right. What's up, man? Uh, what is up? about how you fell in love with Flickerstick. I am a, you know, I'm passionate about Texas music, and that means all kinds of Texas music. Um, and I'm a Fort Worth guy, TCU Horn Frog, and so I grew up in Fort Worth, listened to a lot of the bands, you know, in the late '90s, early 2000s that were coming out of Fort Worth. And I think most people know it was a very dynamic time. You know, there were there were actually a you know, a number of really important bands that came out of Fort Worth at that time. There was a real scene, but nobody, nobody was better live than Flickerstick. They're the best live band to this day that I've ever seen in my life. I mean, they're on stage and seeing Brandon up there. And one thing I remember, y'all dress really fun. Y'all dress really cool. These guys have a lot of style, but they play their guitars and stuff was, was really, really cool. And so it didn't matter where they played in, you know, the DFW area, we were there. You know, everybody knows the story. Like, uh, Flickerstick had a major la uh, label deal after Bands on the Run. Uh, Coke was the hero song on the album. The song didn't actually get released because a lot of things melted down after 9-11. And so I just think it's incredibly ironic that now we're gonna, we're finally gonna release Coke as a single, only to the, like, the Texas music, Texas country music market. Yeah. It's, it's tripping me out, but I like it. I was, I was so curious on, so I heard the music and, you know, sound, the music sounds great, but I'm like, with it being in the country genre, I'm like, I have no idea what twist he's gonna put. If it's gonna yeah. have a twang, if it's gonna have, if he's gonna change the rhythm or and and and, and I think Chris was worried that I would be like, oh no, you can't mess with the song like that. And I'm like, no, not at all. As long yeah. as it works. And I and I feel grateful for people like Chris Putnam that that keep it alive, even though it it's really been dead for almost you know about ten years. In, 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 well. As in defunct, <laughs> defunct. I never thought we'd be talking about this, uh, you know, even months or a year or two after the band had played its last shows. It is still alive in, in, in a lot of ways, in, in, in the internet, in the, in the sites, and the fans that, that we became friends with. And the fact that there's still movements to get us back together, it's, it's something that I don't know if I'll ever be able to wrap my head around.
Treacherous road.